I'm particularly pleased that mayors and local authorities of coastal and lakeside cities, where the blue economy is already a driver of economic growth, are linking it with city, community, and people-focused development. The cheer body of our coastal cities make them important hubs of infrastructure and economic activity that includes transport and tourism, which in turn attract urbanization and employment opportunities for many of our youth from rural areas. However, as governors and mayors of these cities, you know better than many of us of the tremendous challenges in managing these fast-growing urban centers and ensuring basic service delivery, such as, but not excluded, to water and sanitation. In the effects of global warming treating their livelihoods and the social fabric of entire communities, as fish stock fall, raising sea levels cause massive erosion of our coastlines and pollution contaminates our freshwater reserves and poisons the seas. In fact, it is partly due to some of these challenges that many young people, rather than benefiting from the opportunities of a blue economy, choose to risk crossing to the ocean for, for better opportunities far away. And for too many fall victim to the sea in their quest for a better life. The tragic irony should not be lost on any of us. It is therefore clear that special focus is given to the management of our cities. This is part of the paradigm shift needed to fully integrate the blue economy into our national and local planning strategies. Africa has clearly conveyed its priorities with the adoption of the Common African Position on Habitat 3 in Kigali, July 2016, that calls for a new African urban agenda that accelerated inclusive growth and transformation through, and I quote, the urgent need to harness the transformative potential of urbanization and it is various facets to facilitate the reduction of poverty in all its forms and inequality as well as achieve an inclusive, integrated, prosperous, stable, and peaceful Africa driven by its own citizens and representing a dynamic force in the global arena. All of us seated here have a stake in this endeavor. Organizations like the United Cities and Local Governments of Africa, together with the experience of our global partners, many present here today, offers rich experiences from which Africa can learn. The outcome of your deliberations can help formulate strategies and provide guidance to our member states in how to develop the blue economy for the benefits of our cities and citizens. I wish you fruitful deliberation. I thank you.